Hey, Internet friend, Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and the Synergy This, That, and the Other Thing. And I have my friend Laura Brandt. She's a Minneapolis person. You there, Laura? Hi, Brad. Yay. You sound really good, loud and clear. Sometimes this stuff doesn't work that way, but it seems to be working. Maybe it's because you're in Minneapolis and it's shorter. Oh, the internet is fascinating to me. All this stuff, it's just so much. I'm 62 years old, so I remember postage stamps, and those are kind of getting obsolete. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. <laughs> Anyways, my background is in the events industry, and it's about people meeting people. And since the inception of the internet, although it's brought us closer together, it's made us farther apart because the communication's got to be in some kind of alignment. And there's all these different platforms out there, and you specialize in one platform, which I think is wise. You're with LinkedIn, correct? I sure am. I really have enjoyed getting to know LinkedIn, and I come from a a nonprofit background where I've been doing a lot of eventing over my time. And when I found LinkedIn, I found I could help other people tell their story and learn how to network and build that community. And so that's what I enjoy doing now as far as my my career journey. Well, that's that's really important because you got to get to know who people are before you just go click and buy their product or service because the, the, the reality is there's so many places to get the very similar same product or service like some of the softwares that they've got out there that you buy. I don't have yeah. to buy it from you. I could buy it from anybody. So where do you live here in Minneapolis, Twin Cities? I live up in the Plymouth area. Plymouth. Well, you're close to me. I'm in Minnetonka. And very close. Is that a peacock you got behind you? Yes, yes. A friend of mine gave me this little montage. And I grew up on a farm in Iowa. And my mother originally was born in India. And oh, wow. so we had a peacock on our farm. So when she gave that to me, that was really special. For sure. I like that when all of a sudden they're just walking around, all of a sudden that big thing just. Yes. I've seen and pictures. I still have from many, many years ago. Um, the peacock feathers, because they would uh, lose those every single year. Yeah, and people so. sell them. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing us back to marketing. <laughs> so, you know, there's so many different platforms that are on the internet with Twitter and WhatsApp and LinkedIn and Facebook and Periscope and all that. Why is it, why do you think LinkedIn is, is the platform? LinkedIn is the platform because it has the reputation of being the professional resource True. that when people want to know about you professionally, they look at you on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn and Google have a little relationship. So if you type in in Google somebody's name, their people's LinkedIn profiles with that name come up at the top of the search. I noticed that. So people are going to be looking for you on your LinkedIn profile. And it's really important for us to establish the no like trust that they get to know you, get to like you and get to trust you. And you can certainly do that on LinkedIn. It becomes your own personal website, a place for you to really shine. Well, you know, on that note, like websites, here's what's interesting about a piece of paper, like uh, this piece of paper, eight and a half by 11, yep. you're limited as far as what you can put on the paper with a website. There are no limits. So you can put so much stuff and you get so lost. What are like the key elements of a LinkedIn profile? Because I know you can get into so many different elements of it. It's huge. So what are the key parts of the profile? Um, I put those into two sections here. The first one I like to call get the click. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is when someone does a search on LinkedIn, if they don't have your name, they're just searching for, let's say, event planner or marketing planner or caterer, they will type that keyword in the search, and then LinkedIn's gonna give them a list of 10 names per page, and you're going to see the profile picture and the headline. And that's what they're gonna decide, whether or not to open up your profile. So to get the click, you have to have a great profile Aha. picture and headline. So like the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, the first click. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you are, once you get the click, the important parts are to look at the banner image. So that quickly tells people 
what you're doing, the about section, the work experience, and recommendations. Those are the key ones once they click you. Now, what are your thoughts on, I see it all the time, it makes me crazy, when their profile picture is a cat or a cartoon or something like that. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, your profile picture, again, this is a professional uh, website, so you should make sure you have your facing straight or slightly to the side and bright smile, um, really engage. So when you're looking at the camera, look like you're looking at a person so that you get that instant oh, sure. connection. And there is a little tip I'll share. And this comes from people studying how people look at a computer screen. And so if your profile picture directs people, so think of your nose, if you're tilted, so your nose takes them off of your profile, sure. that's a bad thing because then they might get distracted. So you make sure if you're not straight on, make sure your picture is focused so when you, they look at your face, they, you're directing them right to your text. You know, I've also seen these things that uh, like, like profile pictures where uh, I'll speak specifically with females because I'm a male, but sometimes they have like sort of a seductive type of look to them when that's really not their business, and they're looking for that first click to get you in there, but it's it's a deception, and I think it's a, a preconceived, you know, they might be doing some kind of seductive look, and if that's not their business, um, I think that could be a, a bad thing. What do you think? Yes, I totally agree with you. I um, was working with a college student who had really she was a very beautiful person and she had that little pose and it's like, like, that's not who you are. You're trying to get a job in this industry and that's not what an HR person is going to want to see on your profile picture. Exactly. Or even a colleague that wants to relate unless it's some kind of other relationship. <laughs> the only time I would agree with having an animal is if like, you're a veterinarian or you work with a, like animal shelter or something like that. That one I would say. Even I then, would, I'd say put your face in there holding the animal. Yes. I think because it's people meeting people. It's not because uh, that's just my personal because I'm in the events business. It is about people connecting. So. I would agree with you. Yes. The animal in the, in the picture with you. Yes. No, I'm the... I was going to talk a little bit about the headline, but I want to talk about the banner image because I noticed that you try and put something in there. and If you have words and stuff on there on different devices and stuff, it always cuts it off or, or whatever. Isn't it better just to have a maybe a picture and have something centrally located because it's different on your phone versus your computer versus your iPad versus with your orientation and all that. What are your thoughts on that? Um. Some people are able to get the word in there if it's very limited and off to the right side. Um, because now on the mobile too, the picture does does move over and so you can see a little bit. So you are taking a little bit of a risk if you put some words out on the banner image. But for the banner image, the key thing is that people instantaneously understand what you do by looking at your profile picture. For example, um, some meeting and event planners or caterers could have food back there or a group of people milling around or just a great display table. So people, when they open up your profile, they're like, oh, that's what they specialize in. That's right. what they do. Exactly. Yeah, because, uh, you know, you, I, I worked at it before trying to put in a, like a logo or a name or something, and, and then it looks different on the phone. So I think it's better to have just like a... Like you said, a picture is worth a thousand words and it's all related to the industry or the profession that you're in. And that's a very good point is you should always, once you put a picture up there, look at it from mobile as well as desktop just to kind of see that difference. And I just wanted to throw out, um, I have two favorite places to go get free pictures. So if mm -hmm. you don't take pictures at your own events, I like going to Bixabay. That's P as in Peter, I X. B as in boy, a -Y .com, and pixels, P as in Peter, E X E L S as in Sam, dot com. And you can use their pictures. Got it. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's some of that stuff going on where copyright issues and all that. And then you get yeah. these uh, threats from lawyers and not even real and all that. <laughs> so just best to just get out of there and get the free copyright images. 
So then when you get into the about section, work experience and the recommendations and all, all those words kind of mean something because they're searchable, right? When you put that stuff in there. So not only the top few lines to attract visual attention, but also the other lines that they might not see, they're still key words, right? Yes. So think about the words that um, people will be searching on. So once again, up in the search, what would bring you up um, in their search? And the about section to me is really important because you're going to spend your most amount of time on writing your about section. And you should um, write it, rewrite it, share it with people, get their feedback. This is where you're going to be able to tell your story. This is why, how you explain why you're uniquely positioned to be their event planner, to be their marketing um, event person, to be their caterer. And so you're not going to just be talking all about your business. You're going to be showing your career journey. Yeah. Of how did you get there? And then those individuals who haven't been in the industry for so long, talk a little bit about your passion. Why do you get up every morning? Why do you work the long hours that you do? Uh, why do you enjoy serving people? And making sure all of that is in that about section. This is where you're going to build that know, like, and trust. Got it. And another little quick thing in regards to reading on a computer screen, keep your sentences to two to three um, per paragraph. Um, that way people, as they're skimming, they're going to be grabbing the most important information. Yeah, I see people that just run all this stuff into the same thing into one giant paragraph, and it's like, I don't have time to decipher this, and I just move on, because there's so much information available online, why not go where it's easy to read rather than difficult? Exactly. So I don't like to do these too long because I like people just to consume the information and if they want to learn more about you, they can uh, click on the links and find who you are and what you do. But um, our friend Mike O'Neill, he specializes in like sales navigator, which is different than just your regular free LinkedIn. Is there also just a paid LinkedIn that is not navigator or is there two just two levels? You can get a subscription. Um, it's a premium subscription and personally, it doesn't offer that much more. If you're going to be on um, LinkedIn and doing a lot of searching, that one will help you. But for an extra $20 a month, you could get from 11 filters to do searching to 29 filters to do searching. And the Sales Navigator allows you to really focus a little bit more deeper dive in various areas. So if you are going to invest in um, paying for a premium, go for the sales navigator for twenty dollars more a month you're going to get a lot more yeah that's another interesting thing a person can say i'm a linkedin expert but there's a lot of elements of linkedin because because you focus on like profile and an expert at that where mike is doing like the navigator because there's so many different areas you almost have to be an expert of an expert in an expert on a, <laughs> on a topic Yes, and kind of work together, you know, be partners. The internet is fascinating to me. I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just amazing that, like, I used to talk with this guy over in the UK, and we would Skype, and you know, you get that notification ring when you get a, a message, and yeah. I would send him something. I would swear I would hear that notification thing through his microphone before I even push the button. It was so fast, and it fascinates me. How can we connect with somebody on the other side of the planet? instantaneously it's weird and that's the wonderful thing about linkedin and linkedin is global over 500 million yeah. people are on linkedin and so you can establish a relationship with somebody in another country and that building that network of people is just fantastic on linkedin so tell us how do we get hold of you if we want to connect with you and learn more about what you do and you can help us with our profiles and such well you can email me at laura b LLC at Outlook.com, or you can visit my LinkedIn profile. Of course. <laughs> uh, LinkedIn.com forward slash LinkedIn forward slash Laura J. Brandt. So. so that would probably be the keyword to find you would be Laura J. Brandt. And I'll bet if you just put that as one word into Google, your LinkedIn profile will come up. I have not tried that, but that very well could be. We should check it out. <laughs> So Laura J, J stands for just do it. Go get Laura J Brandt. Perfect. 
Well, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to put this into the can and beam it up to the universe and let the synergy work. And I'll send you the link. And if you could share it, that's how this all works. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. And we tell the world. And we can maybe do another one down the road. That's sort of keep, that. keep the momentum a going. More to, to LinkedIn yes, there is. Okay, if you want to stand, we can chat further. Other than that, I'm going to clean this one up and shoot it out. Okay. Thanks. Peace.